Hi, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about arcs and how to measure angles within a circle. In our last video, we spoke about circumference, and we're going to need that information to do part of today's video. So if you're not familiar with circumference of a circle, make sure you watch the 10.1 video as well. Let's get started. So when we refer to an arc, we're talking about a portion of the circle, right? An arc, since the circle does not have segments and it doesn't have sides, we're going to be dealing with parts of a circle, which are arcs. That's considered an arc, right? So we have different types of arcs. We have minor, major, and semicircle. A minor arc is any arc that measures less than 180 degrees. So anything that's less than half of the circle, right? Our full circle is 360 degrees. So anything half, anything less than half would be considered a, min a minor arc. So here's an example like arc DC is a minor arc. Arc CB is a minor arc. BE, I mean, there's so many combinations here, right? DB, we can keep going. But we're looking for part of the circle that measures less than 180 degrees. A major arc would be greater than 180 degrees. So we can look at our half of a circle and anything greater than half the amount. So for example, CDE. Notice how I'm using three letters now. When we use two letters, we're assuming the shortest distance between the two, right? But if we include a third letter, now we're telling, now we're saying that we want to go the longer route, right? So what we're looking for here we're starting at C we're going through D and we're ending over at E that is a, my, a major arc because it's more than half of the circle okay if we had just written CE we would have assumed the shortest distance between them but the D includes the direction in which we're moving a semicircle is just equal to 180 degrees, semi meaning half, right? This means half. So that equals half of a circle, half of 360 is 180. And here it doesn't really matter the direction that we move in because half the circle to the left or half the circle to the right is going to still be 180 degrees. A thing we're going to talk about today as a vocabulary word is also arc length. Arc length refers to the distance around the circle, okay? We spoke about circumference as the full distance around the circle. Now we're looking for a partial or partial distance around the circle. So we're looking for like part of the circumference, a piece of it. So in this scenario, we have a circle with circle V, where QS is the diameter. Here we're going to talk about first the measure of the arc. Just like we spoke about before with the measure of an ankle, now we're dealing with the measure of an arc. And the way that we do that is we go down to the center of the circle to find the measure of an arc. So the measure of arc STP, S is where we start, and we're moving T P in this direction. The measure of this arc, the measure of the angle, is just 72 plus 75, which equals to 147 degrees. 147 is less than half the circle, so we can label this as a minor arc. The measure of QRT. Let me erase this real quick. Q, R, T. We're going in this full direction. To find the measure of this arc, a thing to consider is that half of the circle is 180. So this whole top section is 180 degrees. All of this from here to here. And we just have to go a little bit extra. So what we can do is we can say it's 180 plus this extra 75. 180 plus 75 is 255 degrees. And since 255 is more than half of the circle, we'll call this a major arc. 
and arc, if I can spell it correctly. I realized that up here I did the same thing. ACR instead of ARC. Measure of QP. Let's talk about QP for a second. QP is dealing from the distance from here to here. There are several ways to go about this. We can look at half of the circle and subtracting this piece right here. So half of the circle is 180, right? We could do 180 minus the 147. And that would give us 33 degrees. You could also think of uh, the full circle. The whole circle is 360, so if you know this is 180, and this is this next piece is this is 180. The bottom piece is 147. You can add them together and then subtract what's left over from 360. 180 plus 147 is 327. So the distance entirely around would be 327 degrees. We subtract that from 360 because the full circle is 360, and we're still left with 33 degrees, a minor arc. And lastly, PQR, the measure of arc PQR. Really, if we're looking for the symbol notation here, notice how it has an M in front of it. M is talking about the measure of a degree. So PQR starts here, Q and R. We just found out that this was 33 degrees. Up here in the top, since this is half of a circle, and this piece is 90, I know that this is also 90 degrees. So 90 plus 33 is 123 degrees, which is also a minor arc. The measure of the arc is going to be equal to the central angle based on the center. Okay, now that we have found how to find the measure of an arc, let's talk about arc length. To find the arc length from A to B, we want to consider circumference. The full distance around the circle is the circumference. Now we're interested in just a piece of that circumference. We call that the arc length. How long is that arc? Well, we know that it's based with 90 degrees. There's a general formula that we're going to be using. And the general formula for arc length, arc length equals the circumference times the angle over 360. For circumference, there's several formulas, right, as we spoke about before. Circumference can be pi times diameter or circumference can be 2 pi r. So if we can find the circumference of the circle, then we want to we want to multiply it by a piece of that circle. This is the portion that we're interested in, the angle over 360. So let's give this one a shot. This first example, the full circumference, since we're given the radius, is 5. We can use circumference equals two times pi times the radius. The circumference would be 10 times 3.14, it's about 31.4. We want to find the arc length. So instead of the full circumference around the circle, we only want a piece of it. And notice how that piece is right here, 90 degrees. So notice how 90 ends up being a fourth of the circumference. So to find arc length, we're going to take our circumference and multiply it by 90 over 360. 90 divided by 360 simplifies to 1 fourth. So when you multiply that, 31.4, 31.4 times 1 fourth is 7.85. That is how much this length is. Notice how this one does not have an M in front of it. 
because we're not talking about the angle anymore. We're talking about the distance around the circle or just a fractional distance around the circle. Let's try a few more to get this, um, to get this going. Again, feel free to pause this video, give them a try, plug it into the formula that we're talking about and see if, um, if things work out your way. Arc length is equal to circumference times the angle over 360. Circumference is based off of the information given. Here we're given the radius, so we know we're going to be using this formula, 2 pi r. 2 times pi times the radius, which is 3. That's circumference. That's what this portion represents. Now we need to multiply it by the leftover piece, which is the angle. We want 45 out of 360. And when you put all that in the calculator, we end up getting 2.355, so 2.36. Which ends up being 45 degrees, ends up being about an eighth of the circumference, an eighth of the whole circle. Let's try a couple more and we can finish this off. Arc length, circumference, times the angle over 360. The circumference here, because we have the full diameter, we can use this formula instead. I mean, you can divide the diameter by 2 to get radius and then multiply it by 2 again, or you can just do pi times diameter times the angle, which is AB is going to be 80 degrees over 360. 3.14 times 14 times 80 over 360. And that's 9.77 meters. the length of AB. <clears throat> this will never be an angle, right, because we're dealing with length as opposed to the degrees as the previous examples we were doing is the measure of the arc. This is the length of an arc. Those are two different statements, right, M representing degrees and length representing distance. Our last example, we have the radius, so the, the formula would be 2 times pi times the radius, multiplied by the angle that we're interested in, 120 over 360. Plug in the calculator, 2 times pi times 8 times 120 over 360. And the arc length here is 16.75. All right, hopefully by the end of this video, we understood how to find the measure of an arc and the length of an arc, right? Those being two very different statements. And you can tell the difference by the way the notation is. If the arc has an M in front of it, we're talking about the degrees, the angle. If it doesn't, we're talking about the length. That's the notation that we're using for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, we'll calculate.